What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the spot price of silver falling. Only by a couple of dollars, but when it comes to silver, a couple dollars can make a big difference. I also want to talk about a potential pullback coming later this week. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. And if you wanna help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And by the way, this might sound kind of random, but I will be doing a back to school giveaway probably this week, as I do every year. So if anybody watching right now has kids of their own or, or younger siblings or a kid in the neighborhood where you're friends with the parents or something like that, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. I'll explain the details later in the video. But I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver because just yesterday, I talked about silver being over $29 an ounce with $30 an ounce seemingly being right around the quarter. I think we were at $29.22. That's the highest I noticed that it went yesterday. And it was really less than a dollar away from 30 bucks. So I was thinking to myself, I was like, I don't want this to happen, but it looks like it's going to. I even asked a magic eight ball on my Instagram story last night if it was going to hit $30, and here's what it said. Will the spot price of silver hit $30 an ounce tomorrow, August 11th, 2020? For sure. Ooh, you heard it here first, people. So, I guess technically, we still have a couple hours in the day for silver to climb all the way back up and surpass the $30 mark, but I don't necessarily think that's gonna happen. Not today, anyway, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past and I'll be wrong again. But as I'm recording the video right now, the spot price of silver is in the $26 range. So it went down about $2.50 or maybe even a little bit more than that. It's, it's down from $29 and change to $26 and change. And, who knows, by the time I edit this video and actually get it off onto YouTube, it could be down into the $25 range. It could be popping back up to $27, $28. Update while I'm editing, silver is now in the $25 an ounce range. Silver is very, very sporadic and the volatility of silver, it could really go either way. So there's no way in the world of making a conclusive statement on what it's going to do, especially when it comes to the short term. If you are a short-term thinker, if you're only looking at things from what's happening this week or next week or next month, it's nearly impossible to figure things out and decipher whether it's going to go up or down. But if you're thinking long-term, I personally see an upward trajectory. I've always seen that. If you look at the graphs, the charts, and the history, silver slowly works its way up. So here's the thing. When it comes to silver, a couple dollars make a big difference. Let's use an arbitrary number really quick. Let's just use $14 because just a couple months ago, that's what silver was. Silver was $14 an ounce. And at $14 an ounce, if it were to go up by 50%, or even if it were to go down by 50%. You see, when you hear the number 50%, oftentimes, myself included, I think of large sums of currency. 50%? That's a lot to work with. That's half of what you're working with. So if it were to go up 50%, that usually means it went up a lot. If it were to go down 50%, that usually means it were to be going down a lot. But when it comes to silver, and with silver being essentially dirt cheap to begin with, a 50% increase would have only brought it up to $21. 14 bucks, 50% increase, $7 increase, $21. If it were to go down, 50%, it would go down to about $7, which I don't foresee ever happening again. But I wanted to talk about this today because I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos saying that like silver's gonna be going up or it's gonna be going down. And unfortunately, it's just impossible to make psychic predictions. And number one, I'm not even allowed to make predictions anyway. I, I can make a prediction. I just can't make a statement or a financial claim. But I wanted to talk about this today because it's really interesting to see what's going on in the short term. I don't consider myself to be a short-term thinker. I don't consider myself to be one who cares about 
what's going on on Friday night. I couldn't care less about Friday night. I care about what's going on in 10, 20, 30 years. But even though short-term is irrelevant for the long-term, it's still fascinating to look at. It's still interesting to see. It's still fun to watch silver go up and down. It's still fun and exciting and entertaining to see silver proving people wrong, proving people right, getting people excited, getting people scared. It's an exciting time in the precious metal world. And unfortunately, silver going down a couple dollars as of today doesn't really make it look like it's going to be surpassing the $30 mark today anyway. Like I said, it, it could turn around and surprise us, but I think this will hopefully be the beginning stages of somewhat of a pullback. I, I can't tell you how much I think it's going to pull back. A lot of people are asking for a solid number, even if I give them an incorrect answer. Like Some people are just telling themselves random numbers they're saying oh it's gonna be twenty dollars by this date and and i think the reason people do that is because psychologically it's a little bit easier on you to have an answer even if it's not the right answer rather than having no answer at all so i think that that's what a lot of people try to do to themselves and that's also by the way why a lot of politicians lie to you because they don't know the answer but they know you're more comfortable with an answer even if it's the wrong answer than having absolutely no answers to your questions so anyway moving forward away from all that I think this could potentially be the beginning stages of a pullback. I do hope that there's going to be a pullback. I do want silver to drop back down. I feel like I did not get enough time to stack as much silver as possible. Of course, I've been stacking as aggressively as I could over the last two and a half years, but I would like a little bit more time. Ideally, I would like another 10 years to stack silver, but with everything going on in the world right now, with all of the economic uncertainty and, and all of these financial hardships that individuals are going through, small businesses are going through, even multi-billion dollar corporations are going through financial hardships right now. It's a tough time for everyone. It's a tough time for poor people. And, and you, know it, you know it's scary when it's a tough time for rich people as well. So I think this could potentially be the beginning stages of somewhat of a pullback. I don't know if like corrections are being made. I don't know if this is happening. I don't know if that's happening, but I would like to see silver go down another couple of dollars. I would like to see silver go down to, you know, anywhere 20 to $23 would make me happy. And I would definitely pick up my fair share of silver at that fiat dollar bill amount because, you know, it's going to be more than that regardless because premiums, it's just tough right now because it's almost been like a double-edged sword these last couple of months because spot price has been up significantly higher than what we're used to, but it's not just the spot price we have to worry about. Spot price isn't an issue if premiums make sense, and premiums being through the roof aren't a problem if spot price made a little bit more sense, but right now, neither of the two makes sense, so it's like we're getting smacked by both. Spot price being higher than what we're used to and premiums being cranked up through the roof because supply and demand. So it's like a double-edged sword. So if we could get one of those two factors to reduce just so we can continue to capitalize even more on what I consider to be the opportunity metal, all this nice shiny silver that I have sitting here in front of me, I guess not all of it's all that shiny, but the silver that I have in front of me, I consider silver to be the opportunity metal for that reason alone. It's something that we can capitalize on. I consider it to be dirt cheap. Then again, I'm not a financial advisor, so it's not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research, especially if you're brand new. But I consider it to be the opportunity metal because I see it as dirt cheap. Being in the 20 something dollar range, even $26 an ounce, even yesterday, $29 an ounce. If premiums made a little bit more sense, that's something that a lot of people would be capitalizing on, except it's kind of being held up out of reach away from people because it's not really $29 silver that we're looking at. It's, it's more like $35 silver because of the premiums, which is why for the last couple of weeks, sure, I got the Silver Kraken. Sure, I got the Queen's Beast. But those are, I think, the only two pure silver coins that I've picked up over the last couple of months even. Everything else, it's either been generic silver silver bars or some silver rounds or 90 percent 
That's really all I have ordered. I think right now, I think the smartest thing that I could be doing, and I, I know I get a lot of comments from people saying that they're doing virtually the same thing that I'm doing. I think the smartest thing to do right now is to go after any silver you can get your hands on with the lowest possible premium. I don't think eagles right now, silver eagles, are really the way to go. I know some people disagree. They're like, oh yeah, we can get the premiums back. I say, I'm not going to sit here and say boycott the Silver Eagle or anything like that, but if people stopped ordering them, the premiums would come down. It's the people who are stacking them out of fear that's driving up the prices for everyone. That's kind of speculation over here. I, I, I don't work for the U.S. Mint. I don't work for any of these online precious metal dealers or anything like that, but I believe that if the overwhelming majority of people stopped picking up Silver Eagles, we would all see... A significant reduction in the premiums for silver eagles that's just my opinion that's just kind of my theory but I think right now the smartest thing to do is just go after the silver rounds the silver bars and the 90% that's just what I'm doing that's what I plan on continuing to do I'm taking a step away from the pure silver coins for the time being at least until the premiums make more sense the way I see it is why convert you know 40 41 42 dollars into a silver eagle when i can get a silver round for 33 34 dollars they're both a troy ounce of silver sure the eagle has that level of notoriety sure the eagle has the ability to be recognized and everyone knows what it is it's a coin that everyone's familiar with it's a coin that everybody trusts but a silver round might be something that somebody's not really seen before they don't want to pick something up that they're unfamiliar with because oftentimes people don't buy or do things that they are unfamiliar with understandable but at the end of the day silver silver so it is what it is you stack how you want to stack and i'll stack how i want to stack but i want to talk about a potential pullback and i i hope to see later this week even today even if it can go down to 25 dollars and below that'd be pretty nice it'd be even nicer if it can go down below 20 bucks but i don't know if we're ever even going to see that again it would be nice if there's one thing that I've learned over these last couple of weeks or over these last couple of months is that what I want to happen does not necessarily stand side by side with what I think is actually going to happen. I would love for silver to drop back down. I would love to see silver hit $14, $15 an ounce again, even if the premiums stay high, which I believe that they will if spot price were to go down like that. But what I want to happen is not necessarily synonymous to what I think will happen. I want silver to go down, but part of me doesn't think that it's going to. We might see a little bit of a pullback, but I, I, I'm, I've i made peace with the fact that I don't think I'm ever going to see silver under $20 again. It might not happen. It may never happen. This It could be nothing but up from here. So I've kind of removed that from my mind the whole oh i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait it out i'm gonna see if spot price drops i'm gonna wait till i can get more money for my currency more bang for my buck i'm gonna i want to keep my dollar cost average like i personally i don't even dollar cost average i don't, I don't care about that because it's, it's irrelevant to me personally but i've gotten that mentality out of my head where i'm just going to wait just because if i were to wait I'd be waiting for something that isn't even promised. It's not guaranteed. It's not a sure thing. There's there's no way of knowing if silver's going to go down. And I learned that while waiting to save a little bit of currency, you're simultaneously spending your time, which is an even more valuable asset than the actual money, in my opinion, from my perspective, that is. Again, not to say to be controlled by the fear of missing out, but I think I'm just going to steadily and consistently pick up silver as much as I can when I can without taking a step back saying I'm going to wait I'm not going to max out my credit cards on silver just because I'm afraid that I'm going to miss out on an opportunity as I always say I'd rather miss out than be controlled by the fear of missing out but at the same time I'm not going to sit around getting nothing done so I'm trying to find a happy medium I know it's a confusing time for everyone and I know that's probably something that a lot of people can align with a lot of people are probably already doing for themselves so that's what I wanted to say about that and really quick let me run through what my concept for a back-to-school giveaway is I do this every August because September is usually when the kids go back to school if you have a kid or a grandkid or 
a niece, nephew, or a younger sibling, or if you're friends with somebody that has a kid or something like that, and they're starting school, I understand that it's a crazy time in the world right now, so I don't want to go to the store and pick up and handle the supplies and then have the cashier handle the supplies and then mail it to someone. So I think what I'm probably gonna do this time around is do an online gift card. I will pay for it myself. I'm thinking about using a Staples gift card because I know if I made it a Visa gift card or something like that, people who don't even have kids will enter pretending that they have kids and then they'll just use it on something stupid rather than school supplies, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help out a parent or a grandparent. I'm just, I'm just trying to help people out. I know it's a tough time right now, so I'm doing my best to provide a little bit of assistance. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to use a Staples online gift card and whoever the winner is, I'll send them the online code which they can use on the website and then get some supplies so that's probably what i'm going to do i'll have a i'll have a whole separate video on my backup channel dedicated to that in the next couple of days so be on the lookout just want to give you guys a heads up and if you guys want to head on down to the comments and let me know if that's something that you could use or, or if you know somebody and, and you know that they could use it or something like that let me know in the comments i just want to get somewhat of a head count anyway if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to subscribe New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, and we just hit 1,000. I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. A portion of the proceeds are actually gonna be going towards an ocean cleanup charity organization at no additional cost to you. Comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on spot price of silver dropping by several dollars today. Like I said, when it comes to silver, I mean, I don't really like to measure my wealth in dollars, but rather ounces, but when it comes to the short term, you really don't have much of a choice. You gotta look at the fiat dollar bill currency glorified IOU amount, especially when it comes to figuring out how much money you can get in exchange for your currency. So. What are your thoughts on silver dropping by several dollars from just yesterday? Do you consider this to be a pullback? Do you not consider it to be a pullback, but you think a pullback is on the way? If you do think a pullback is on the way, how low do you think silver is gonna drop to, or how low would you like to see silver go? What do you consider to be a pullback, and how long do you think it's going to last? Do you think silver's gonna pop back up? Head on down in the comments and let me know anything and everything related to the pullback or the spot price dropping by a couple of dollars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.